video, we're going to talk for a moment about dimensioning. You've seen me dimension quite a few objects, um, but let's uh, focus on it for a moment. So let's open a sketch plane and let's draw an arc. Let's throw a square up there somewhere. I'm going to use the trim command to get rid of some stuff we don't want. Uh, you know what? We're going to get rid of this guy. We don't need him. All right, and if you, whoa, all right, that was a good, uh, good little lesson. Because nothing has relations or is defined, the sketch went nuts when I tried moving it. Okay, so we're just gonna put it close, close to the origin. We're not gonna lock it down. All right, so over here we have smart, smart dimensioning, and we can dimension in a number of ways. Okay, we can look for a horizontal dimension, a vertical dimension, ordinate dimensioning, um, and these are auto-ordinate dimensioning. All right? And this is uh, horizontal, so you would drag out a zero and then pull in the horizontal direction, and this is the converse. Um, we're going to stay with smart dimensioning for the moment. So you're going to left click, drag out, and this is a radius because there's an R so we're going to give this a radius of 4 by typing it in and we're going to select this guy and we're going to give this a, a length of 4 inches as well let's hit our zoom to fit and uh, let's see let's add a circle in the center here Now, on a circle, the symbol that precedes the 2.5 is a circle with a line through it. That's called a diameter dimension, and it's standard practice in drafting. So, in fact, I do want to give that a diameter of 3 inches. And since I locked it down to the center of these particular construction lines I know where that lives alright so we're gonna go ahead and give this an extrusion and let's extrude this guy out now when you extrude something just as a point to show you if you don't like the way it extruded you can extrude it away from you but you should really extrude in the same direction all the time. That way, when you're in an assembly, you in fact know, alright, I have a pretty good idea that it's extruded in direction X or in in a standard format that you always use. So you don't have to keep going back to something, keep opening up components and parts to find out, in fact, alright, uh, do I have to extrude this away from me or towards me or in the X and the Y uh, so forth. Alright, so that's just a quick primer on dimensioning.